So now I'd like to thank again the Chevron Pasadena Refinery for serving as the platinum sponsor again for the state of the city and invite Tim Sutherland, general manager for Chevron Pasadena Refinery, to join me on stage for a few remarks, as well as Christina Womack with the Ch Pasadena Chamber for additional recognitions. Tim made his way up here very quickly, but we also want to thank Chevron Pasadena Refinery for their various partnerships and investments in the community over the past several years. They've made a significant impact and we were privileged to recognize them as our 2021 Industry of the Year last year. Tim, stage is yours. Thank you. So thank you, Dr. Harris. It's nice. Uh, let me let me get a sound check here. Am I good? All right. So thank you, Dr. Harris. It's actually nice seeing you uh, seeing your face. Um, I've, we've seen each other a couple times, but it's nice actually being able to see an expression. So we are honored to participate in this uh, event again. I think this is the third year that I've spoken. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe Mayor Wagner's going to cut us a deal on uh, taxes or something like that for me speaking at the. Uh, no, no, okay. But uh, no, it is an honor, and it's nice to see see folks here. So I am Tim Sutherland. I'm the general manager of the Chevron Pasadena Refinery. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that business. I've got some of my colleagues here today. Uh, if you do get a chance to meet them, pretty interesting group. They're actually, they've worked all over the world. And uh, so they're an interesting, interesting group if you get a chance to talk to them. So it's really nice that it is in person this year, 700 people. Um, this is definitely the biggest in-person gathering I've been to in a while, and I, I assume all, all of you is the same. So in the past, I've talked a little bit. My comments have been more about uh, Mayor Wagner, the chamber, and the, and the city, but today I wanted to spend a little more time talking about what the chamber has done for us. So we purchased the, the uh, refinery in 2019, and uh, we knew nobody. So Chevron's obviously got a big presence downtown Houston, but as far as over here in the industrial corridor, uh, we have Chevron does not have a, a presence. And so the first day that we owned the facility, we met with Christine and with the mayor, and that kicked off a great relationship with the city and with Mayor Wagner. But uh, Christina filled a niche that if you've moved in your personal lives, you don't know who the dentist is, you don't know who the chiropractor is, you don't know how to pay your taxes. Taxes, I talked about that twice. There's no theme there, Mayor. So, uh, but at any rate, that, that's what the chamber can do for you. They can get you connected to just how to live and, sur live and survive, if you will, in a community. So that was the first thing the chamber did for us. The second, the, the second example I had was we had a major turnaround in 2020. And if you remember, it was in the beginning of 2020. So uh, there were no vaccines. We didn't understand the safety protocols to do it. So we had a big decision to make whether we were going to take that turnaround and bring 1,000 people, additional people in. So it was unclear about this at the federal level, the state level, but it was clear in, it was clear in Pasadena, the mayor, the mayor had said, Pasadena is open for business. So that helped us make that decision to go ahead and move forward with the turnaround. But then we were faced with restaurants were closed, uh, the hotels were closed, and so again, Christine and her team helped us connect with those local businesses so that we could house the people to come to work from out of state and feed them and, and, and basically get them to come do the job. So the outcome is we completed that turnaround successfully. We had no on-site transmissions of COVID. And so again, with the support of the city and with the chamber, we, we were able to pull that off. So that was the second. The last piece that I wanted to talk about that the, that the chamber can help with is really our connection to social investment. So regardless of what town you're in, community in the United States, there's a pretty much an infinite amount of connection and help that you can provide. And the chamber helped us with that. We've, Chevron's got an assessment protocol we went through, and we, with the help of the chamber, we went through and we, we decided where we were going to spend our, our funds, if you will, and our hours of volunteer. So we ultimately ended up helping first responders. We uh, contributed to the local clinics with vaccines. We've, we've, uh, uh, we've obviously got very connected to the education systems here in Pasadena. But, but again, if you're looking to... Uh, 
have a systematic approach how to help with social investment, the, uh, the chamber can help with that. And then we have a copy of our uh, community report in the front if you're interested in some different things that we've participated in. So the, so the last thing to, need it to be louder? Okay, thank you. So if you've lived in, uh, if you've lived in Pasadena for more than three years, you would have heard of the Crown, Astra, uh, Petrobras facility that Chevron now currently runs. And I just wanted to give everybody who has that history a message. It is a new facility now. So we have come into the place. We focused on, on the safety of our employees and the, and the people who live around us. We've significantly improved the environmental performance of that facility. And we are focused on making it a, a very highly reliable facility. Um, we are in the process now of, of uh, securing environmental permit and, and final investment for a capital project, which we're going to go ahead and, uh, and if we're successful getting those things, ultimately uh, get out of some plants that have been historically unreliable and have been our, our biggest emit emitters. So I'm, I'm very, uh, I tell you that, that we're here, we're improving that facility and that there's a great future for this refinery and, and I, I think for this whole industrial corridor. So that concludes my remarks. I, I do really appreciate the support that we've gotten from the city and from the chamber. And uh, thank you all for coming today. And uh, it's great to see everybody. We certainly appreciate Chevron. And so thank you so much for being here. As Dr. Harris mentioned, we do have a full program. And so to aid us in keeping on time and on schedule out of here at one o'clock, we are pleased to showcase students from Pasadena ISD, Lewis Career and Technical High School, and Sam Rayburn High School.